Hulk, the multiplayer alpha is released. How terribly exciting. Now you two can have tremendous amounts of fun screwing around the very expensive fight jets that are worth more than you. How do you get your hands on it? Boy howdy, do I have the video for you? Step 1. Installing the VTOL Virtual Reality Mod Loader. The first step is actually purchasing VTOL VR, but I'll just assume you already have it. Uh, after that, you'll want to go to the Mod Loader website, link is in the description, and you will download it here. Next, go to Downloads, or wherever the hell you set it to download by default, and you'll want to run the mod loader as an administrator. It's an installer, I assume you're all familiar with how these works. You just mash next until it goes away. Please make sure the address is actually where your VTOL VR is located. You will now find in your VTOL VR folder, there is now a new folder called Mod Loader. This is the Mod Loader, it will load mods. Maybe it will even load multiplayer. Step 2, Installing the Multiplayer Mod. Go to the multiplayer page on the Mod Loader website, links in the description again, admire the lovely artwork by At The Falcon, and then click Download Zip. Once you've done that, you can simply drag the multiplayer zip into the mods folder. You do not need to bother unzipping it, the Mod Loader will do that for you. All that's left is for you to boot into the game. Open the modloader.exe and click play. This should launch the game. Step 3. Ghost in the game. This mod works using the Steam Friend system. Please make sure you friend whoever you want to play with on Steam, or it simply will not work. Once you load into VTOL, you will notice there is a new button. It will allow you to load mods into the game. Click it, and then select Multiplayer. By pushing the load button, the miracle of DLL injection will occur, and the multiplayer mod will be loaded. Next, you will need to choose a mission to play. Quite a few work very well, others work not so very well. I'm going to recommend the multiplayer PvP map, links in the description. It has air bases for the red and blue teams, and it's good for flying around with other people. Next, click the MP button and then host. This will open a server and other people will be able to join you. Pick the worst possible air-to-air -air loadout and then move on to the helmet room. Here you'll notice we've added a lobby screen to the television, this is very useful. We have also added a button that allows you to change team on your right hand, although the host cannot change teams because reasons of AI relationships. Ugh. Once all the players are ready, they can put their helmets on to enter the game. Step 4. Joining someone else's game. Select the same map as the host, and then push the MP button. The right panel will show all your Steam friends who are online. Select whoever is hosting and push join. Once again, you can select a loadout, and then you will enter the lobby room. The client can choose between the blue 4 and red 4 teams. Please only use the red 4 team on PvP maps. If there are no bases for the opposing team to spawn at, it may cause issues. You don't actually need to be on opposite teams to fight each other. You can just use, like, uh, one of the free flight maps. Once the host and clients are ready, the host will start loading. The clients will not start loading until the host has finished loading completely, which may take a while. Step 5. Responding. Rearming and exiting. Inevitably, you will die. Please do not be disappointed when this happens. Fortunately, it is not permanent. Simply wait 15 seconds and you will be respawned at a rearming point. If the mission fail menu pops up, please resist the urge to push any of the buttons that will most likely cause everything to desync. There is a bug that sometimes happens where you cannot rearm the aircraft. This is because your save doesn't have any weapons unlocked. I've replayed the campaign missions to unlock them, or just steal someone else's save file. There are several ways to quit out. The easiest is to simply use the exit button on the game MFD page. That should be everything you need to know to get started with the multiplayer mod. If you have any issues setting this up, I have the mod loader and multiplayer mod discords respectively linked in the description. Please remember, this is still an alpha, so obviously it's not perfect, we will be updating it. Already things have changed since I've started editing this video. Please download the newer updates from the website whenever we post them. And most importantly, remember to have some goddamn fun.